Hi there, Paul Thompson here from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you the revolutionary mode switching technology that is at the heart of the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin. This enables you to very quickly switch between the different editions and represent what you're doing without losing the information that you've put in from the higher, more powerful edition. And I'll show you how that works right now. Here we have the legato loaded up from violins one. Now, if I switch to the discover edition, I am still with violins one, and you'll see that a virtual set of sounds has opened up. The little flask here tells me that I'm looking at a translation of a sound from the Pro Edition, and here it will be the long notes. And you can hear that it works monophonically in exactly the same way as the Legato patch from the Pro Edition. Now, because we've switched from the Pro Edition, we're able to see the articulations that aren't contained within Discover, but they're intelligently mapped to similar sounding articulations. So the consordinos, the muted strings are mapped to the longs. The collegno is simply mapped to the staccato and so on. As you can see here, the pizzicato, which doesn't have the tilde symbol at the beginning of the name, is a patch from Discover. So that's very, very straightforward to have a piece working in the Pro Edition and then open it with Discover. Now, what happens if we switch to a sound that is not in Discover, like this Colenio, and then we switch back to the Pro Edition? Well, we are using the Colenio. Now, this works all the way through for instruments that you don't have in the lower editions as well. They are all intelligently mapped to something that will sound and give you the sound of that instrument, but with content that's not included. This mode switching also works incredibly well with the core edition. So let's say that I'm in the pro edition here. I've got the bass clarinet up and I'm using close and tree mics. Now, as you recall, that stuff is not available in the core edition. So if I switch over to the core edition, then I have a kind of phantom bass clarinet patch here. Now you can hear what's going on there. We're now, we don't have a mic mixer. We're listening to the first mix, the mix one signal. Um, and this is actually pitched down clarinet. So it gives you the same kind of effect as the bass clarinet. It fills in that gap until you switch back to the pro edition and you're back to your real bass clarinet. This is incredibly useful as a teaching aid, as well as for using on the go with a smaller edition of the library and then going back to your main rig. You can simply switch between all of the editions. If you only have Discover installed on, for example, your student's computer, you could give them some homework using the Pro Edition. They can open it, they can do their work on the track, and then they can give it back to the teacher. The teacher can open it with the Pro Edition and hear the changes that the student has made, but with all of the original sounds intact. So whether you're a composer working with a fellow music maker or a teacher working with music students, the mode switching technology allows you to work remotely, collaborate and share sessions between any edition of the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.